right. So this one's going to be a reverse foil video. So we're going to factor this one using reverse foil. Anytime we start to factor, we have to set it equal to zero first. It's the only way you're going to do it with factoring because we use the zero product property. And that needs to be equal to zero in order for that property to work. So it's called the zero product property. Anything times zero is zero. So to set it equal to zero, I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides and I get x cubed minus 3x minus 10 equals zero. So, this is the one where we use, some of you call it the AM method, addition multiplication. So, I want to multiply to negative 10, and I want to add to 3. Well, <clears throat> two numbers that multiply to 10 that add to the negative, excuse me, negative 3, would be negative 5 and positive 2. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. Now, unlike rainbow method, I can go right to basically one of my last steps, which is x minus 5 times x plus 2. That's all you have to it. And now we're done factoring. We need to solve still, but we're done factoring. With rainbow method, we have to do the whole grouping and things like that. With, with reverse foil, it's very quick. So now what I have is x minus 5 equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0. We get x equals 5 and x equals negative 2. And these are my two solutions.